loves. So today I'm actually really excited to do this video and what it is about is how to strengthen and amplify your confidence levels. I've noticed this topic is extremely pertinent to today's society and I'm really excited to do this video because I had a lot of struggles with confidence. So this video will be comprised of tips and tricks that really work for me to instantly boost your confidence and make you feel so much better about yourself. Now before I begin, the most imperative factor of strengthening self-confidence is to understand that everyone has flaws. It's inevitable, impossible to be perfect. And the thing is with self-confidence, you have to understand that it doesn't matter. But the pivotal idea here is that that's okay that you have these flaws. The greatest part of this thing is your flaws aren't flaws to me. Some of my flaws aren't flaws to you. It's like a bag of Skittles. For example, I love red Skittles, like who doesn't? But I don't like the yellow Skittles. I don't know why. But the awesome thing is, is in this world, there are hundreds of thousands of people who like the yellow Skittles better. Do you know what I mean? This world is so perfectly crafted that everybody likes something, you know? Like, if I am a blonde, someone is gonna like blondes. And if I'm a brunette, someone's gonna like a brunette. Say I was 200 more pounds than I already am. That may be bad to society today, whatever, it's not bad to me. And there are plenty, hundreds of thousands of guys who love bigger girls. With that being said, the most essential conception here is to conquer your flaws, you must first accept them. Namaste. Remember, confidence is certainly not being vain or thinking you're better than anybody else. Confidence is walking into a room and not having to compare yourself to anybody. You don't think you're better than them, you just, you know that you're not the same as someone else. No two humans are the exact same combination of molecules, DNA, any of that thing, you're different. You're like a snowflake, you're special. Everyone is special in their own way. Everyone has their different strengths and weaknesses. You just have to know how to utilize them. Okay, Tiny Jada ran over, I'm so sorry. This is like such a phenomenal topic to me. I just, I get so excited talking about it because it, I don't know, okay, sorry. With that being said, I am going to begin my confidence tips. I wrote them down, so oops. Sorry. So I didn't forget, and yes, there are some days where even I struggle with confidence, and everybody does. It's okay to have those days. There are some days when you just feel you can't do your best, or you try hard and you just don't get it, or you feel like you look like crap that day, and sometimes people are just mean. There are people out there who try and make you feel like crap just because it gives them some sort of pleasure? I don't even know, but those those are the people who are wrong. Don't let them get to you. Oh, this is really important. So I literally just had to learn this because I couldn't comprehend it, but you, it's so important that you need to understand that not everyone in the world is going to like you. You're not everybody's cup of tea. Sometimes people like champagne, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just like the Skittles thing. Someone tells you they don't like you, like, Okay, you, you just wasted your time because I don't care, you know? You need to love yourself so much that it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. And the thing is, like, those who mind don't matter, those who matter don't mind. Like, as long as your loved ones and people who you hold dearly think highly of you, that's all that matters. You just need to keep the mindset that if someone doesn't like you, you just need to love yourself enough to not care. Like, I feel bad for you if you don't like me and you don't want to be my friend because I'm a fabulous person, I know that. And I am a great big ball of fun. So, you know, sucks for you. You need to fall in love with yourself. And I'm not saying that in a silly way, but actually just realize that you're so fabulous and you're so marvelous and astounding and so just radiant and once you do that no one can touch you it's like once you love yourself it's all of a sudden you have this huge indestructible shield over you that being said here are my helpful tips and tricks that I have learned to exude confidence and make myself feel so much better number one you have to smile it is so important there's so many studies that show just smiling makes you feel so much better, which is so weird. When you're sad, you're automatically not very confident. So if you just smile, 
and say that everything's gonna get better in your head, smile on the outside, and you'll start feeling it throughout yourself. Next, one of my favorite tips that I've been doing before I was pretty much born, I was wearing heels in the womb, basically, is to dress up. When you're going to school, just dress up. It makes you feel so much better about yourself because if you feel that you look beautiful, then you have that confidence, like no one can stop you. Like, Okay, my next tip coincides with the previous, which is completely strut. When you're walking in the hallway, when you're walking um, at your job or anything, just strut like you're on America's Next Top Model. I was so nervous to go into school in the mornings, and what I did to help me is I put on my headphones. It helps if you put on a really upbeat song such as I used to put on the Pussycat Dolls when I was in high school and you are gonna look like such a boss no one's gonna mess with you you're basically Wonder Woman right now I love it I love it my next tip is to speak eloquently just be passionate about everything you have to say just be so expressive and articulate with your words and speak up make sure you're talking loud enough for everyone in the room to hear and make eye contact very important and oh I forgot when you're walking don't look at your phone when you walk look up look straight ahead and say hi to people wave to people you don't even know it'll be a great time my next tip this is so important but always look like you know where you're going when I'm strutting in the hallways or when I'm going anywhere I am just like power walking I look like I'm on a mission I, but honestly like I have no clue where I'm going the next thing is stop apologizing if you bump into if someone bumps into you the first thing I used to be like oh my gosh I'm so sorry if someone stepped on my foot I would be like oh my gosh I'm so sorry it was never my fault but I always said sorry so just stop saying sorry because you have nothing to be sorry about the next thing is stop talking about your flaws stop bringing them up don't ask if something makes you look fat or something if, if your hair is okay don't keep asking people these things because number one it annoys them number two it makes you look insecure number three you're just completely pointing out your flaws like if you're saying to your boyfriend oh my gosh like I have this these stretch marks everywhere stretch marks are fine a lot of people have them but don't point them out because then he's gonna look at them even more you take things way more seriously than they need to be. Like for example, if you're wearing a dress and you have a little bit of pudge in the middle, only you are gonna notice that. No one else is gonna notice that because it's your body, you know? You're way more critical than anybody else. So just let it go, you're fine, you look great. The next thing is when you get a compliment, say thank you. Don't argue with them, don't say anything else. Don't be like, oh, like if someone says you're pretty, don't say like, oh no, I feel so ugly today. No, say thank you, even compliment them back. Just, you know, be nice. Next thing is so important, oh my goodness. Stop looking at social media and thinking people's lives are perfect. People say that to me all the time on Instagram. Please, I swear to you, people don't show their lows on Instagram. Just like I don't advertise every great thing that happens to me, I'm not gonna post a picture of me crying. It doesn't make sense. So everybody cries, I cry all the time. And that doesn't mean that other people don't. Like Beyonce probably cries all the time too. Don't look at her pictures and think she's perfect, you know? Everyone has their flaws and social media only posts the good, you know what I mean? So don't think that everyone's life is great and yours isn't. They just don't post about it. The next thing that makes you feel absolutely incredible is to try something new. Try, if you wear glasses all your life, try some contacts. If you don't like them, just go back to glasses. Dye your hair pink. I'm so jealous, by the way, of girls who can like dye their hair really cool colors, and because I totally can't. But they can. It makes them look awesome. I wish I could do that. But anyway, you never know until you try. You could dye your hair purple if you wanted to. Something that you want to do that you've always wanted to do that you think will make you feel good about yourself. And the last thing is, don't be afraid to experiment with your looks. Oh my gosh, the thing that grinds my gears so much is when people comment on Instagram or something saying, oh my god, like you can't talk about yourself being confident because you're not confident yourself. You wear all this fake stuff. And when I wear blue contacts, that doesn't make me fake or not confident. I just like the way I look better. It makes me even more confident. I'm confident with my brown eyes. I'm rocking my brown eyes right now. So what? I wear makeup. So what? I dyed my hair blonde. So what? I wear blue contacts sometimes. Most celebrities, even Beyonce, wear the whole head of fake care and they're not insecure they do that to make themselves feel better to spice things up to change their appearance and overall 
love themselves even more and experiment with themselves. Point is, if someone doesn't know you personally, don't take anything they say seriously. It doesn't matter. Just in the end, just do what makes you happy. The best quote for the situation is, not everyone's gonna like you, so you might as well do what you want. Everything I'm doing, I'm doing for myself, I'm doing for the good of other people, those around me, and everything I'm wearing and looking like, I do it for me and nobody else. And that, my friend, is the definition of confidence. Okay, so that was all my tips and everything I can offer you. I'm so sorry if this is kind of a lengthy video. I, the point here is that I'm probably not the first to tell you that society is really messed up and people are mean. They're gonna tell you so many things that you're not good enough and you're not this the right way but there is no right way i promise you and you are good enough you're pretty enough you're smart enough you're talented enough you can't there's no such thing as too fat too skinny too ugly too anything because there's no set standard of what a human should look like love yourself love yourself love yourself i can't say that enough and keep your head up and oh my, I've seen you guys though. You have nothing to worry about. I've seen your comments on YouTube, on Instagram. I click on your pictures, I creep on you guys. You guys are gorgeous. You have nothing to worry about. You're, and it, you're even leaving nice comments. So you have a good heart too. So in my opinion, I think you're pretty close to perfection. Okay, so you are awesome and the closest thing to perfection I've ever laid my eyes upon. <laughs> but I love you very much. Mm -hmm. Bye.